today I'm gonna kill Yaron. At least that's the plan. <laughs> I went and did some research. I went and looked at my old uh, videos from Calamity Mage and that proved not very helpful. I mean, it did in some regard. I think that I could change up my weapons a bit. I'd like the bomb a lot because it does a lot of damage, but consistently speaking, if I wanna just do a lot of damage, it's all about the lift, right? We're gonna do some dumbbellage today. And I think that's gonna work quite well just because it chunks the health off of these bosses. And all I have to do is power it up, wait for the cell strike, he gets near, bam, hit him, and then like a huge chunk of his health is gone. So that's what we're planning for. We're gonna use this. Um, we're, we're gonna use the Eclipse's Fall when I need to, and probably the bomb here and there. So that's kind of the plan for weapons. As far as movement, I gotta wing it. But I did go and excavate the Sky Island that was there and put a platform up there. I don't actually think I'm gonna necessarily need that platform, but I do have it. If I, if I wanna do one more, maybe I do another one across here, but that's gonna thwart some of my other movement because as was suggested, once again, we're gonna use the Slime Mount <laughs> to get some speed going down. I think that that's gonna be a good idea. So we're just gonna jump into it. I'm gonna try it out. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna use the weight first, I think. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get five of those built up. We'll go ahead and buff. We'll hit with this. And yeah, it does a lot of damage. And that wasn't even a great attack there. Also the boss does, by the way, enrage if you get too high. That is one of the things that he is capable of doing, so you kind of got to be careful with that. Um, so it's about it's about managing how high you actually go. Because a lot of you guys were like, hey, make sure you get the gravity normal. Oh my goodness, I cannot hit with this weapon. The gravity uh, normalizer or whatever potion it's called. It's a good idea if I plan to go to space, which I don't. So we're just going to keep that in mind. I don't know if this weapon is doing wonders, but it's also not going bad. We got fireballs here. We are we fireball boy over here. You know, you know what? I kind of want to keep this. Um, uh, <laughs> do I use it? Do I use it? You know that took a pretty big chunk off. Actually, that was pretty good. I like that. Is the bomb gonna be better? I'm not entirely sure. I gotta get stop getting hit by the boss though. <laughs> well, you know what? For a first attempt of the day, that was pretty good. I think a lot of this boss is going to be me figuring out the movement. <laughs> and, and I think I've said that before, but it's true because I think um, <clears throat> overall, if I if I figure out a, a way to just not get hit by him on an average basis, I think I just wasted that weight by throwing it at one of his little dudes too. Then, you know, I'm essentially saving myself from a lot of damage. Uh, it is hard to hit with the weight because it is gravity affected. So unless he's relatively close, it's hard to just chuck it. <laughs> just hope for the best, you know? Uh, let's go down. Let's go way down. Okay, that didn't work, but you know what? It saved us for the time being. Uh, we got adrenaline. I think I hit him. It's hard to tell sometimes because sometimes it just doesn't do the damage that I'm expecting it to do. Oh, this is so bad. Oh, this is so bad. All right, at least I had some immunity frames there. Uh, can I not? Why can't it charge? Why is it not charging? It, oh, because I have the, the what you would call it, debuff. Oh, that sucks. All right. Back this way. Go down. I learned that little maneuver in my last couple attempts there. I keep getting hit by little fireballs. The fire is fairly annoying because <laughs> it funnels you in and then he comes in and takes you out. And that's when I need to use the the teleport and actually that's what I was learning when I was watching the mage series was that when he would do that when he would do the fire and then the teleport that's exactly what I would do I would um I would I would or it, basically his fire and the charge I would teleport away um so I think I just gotta recreate that it's hard to do though it is really hard to do after some extra attempts I'm feeling like the eclipse fall might be the weapon to go um it feels a little bit more consistent. I can hit more consistently with it because it travels in a straight line, which obviously helps <coughs> when trying to when trying to do a bunch of uh, damage from far away because I'm not trying to get close. And you know, with the bomb, I do have to be close. I like literally have to be right on him. Um, and with the weight, I have to wait for him to to get up to me, and that's not fun either. I gotta change out the weapons on my. Oh, 
thing here, though. Because my hotkeys are messing me up. I keep switching to the wrong one. <laughs> That's not great. Also, with this weapon, I'm getting more healing from the stealth strikes because I'm stealth striking more. So that's keeping me alive a bit more. So it's just something to consider. I think I think this might be the weapon to use. I actually need to farm Plantera again because I'm, I'm totally out of money and getting pretty low on buffs, <clears throat> which is making that fight very difficult. So I'm gonna spend some time doing this, get like 20 platinum or something stupid <laughs> that I usually do. And then uh, I'll, I'll go back to fighting Yaron. It, it also does provide a nice little break sometimes. And this I suggest this for everybody. If you're struggling on a boss, or like for me, you know, Poltergast was an example of this where I was struggling really bad <clears throat> or you're just having a hard time, then take a, take a minute, go do something else for a little bit, come back and you'd be surprised how much better you're going to be. We did this in, you know, competitive raiding for a very long time where <clears throat> sometimes you just needed everybody to stand up and take like a 10 minute break and you'd come back and kill the boss or you come back and get really close. And then that rejuvenates everybody's, you know, energy. And then now they, now they believe they can do it. And then on the next attempt, you usually do. While I'm farming this to death, because I'm, I've got 11 bags already. I need, I need like 20 of them or more. I, I have a feeling I'm going to need a lot of money for this last part of the game. Um, I am going to mention that today I'm posting before this video even goes live. So it'll be, it'll be up. And if you've seen it already, then cool. But I'm posting a, uh, a poll for the next Terraria modded series of what we should do. <clears throat> I've got a couple things on there, you know, um, don't, don't necessarily discount. And this is my advice for this. Don't discount mods that you've never heard before, because as it turns out, the ones I'm posting are really cool. Like going to be super entertaining to watch kind of mods, um, just because of how well done they are in many regards. So first and foremost, um, you have the spirit mod, which is just awesome. Go look it up. Um, that one, is, I think, is probably one that I'm looking forward to. Um, like, maybe most or second most. And then you have the split mod. Same thing. You know, th these are both really cool little mods. Um, I'm going to put Thorium in there because I've talked about it for a while. Still haven't done it. If I do Thorium, it'll probably be Bard. Um, but with all of the other votes, I will vote which one I should do and I will leave out like, like mage. Yeah. If, if we do Thorium, I'm not putting mage on there. It'll be like, you know, bard and healer and, oh, what was the other one? Um, I, I'll put melee on there cause I think melee might be fun with that or summoning <clears throat> and just put a bunch of stuff like that in there. And then with the split and spirit, I'll put all the stuff except mage because obviously it doesn't have rogue, so that's not that that matters. And then finally, I should mention, there's going to be one or two other ones in there. Just go go take a look. Vote, definitely, because that'll determine what you're watching for like the next 30 episodes. But um, you can find that on the community page of the YouTube channel. So go to youtube.com slash OSWGuild and you will find on the little community tab, or if you're on the app, if you're on your phone, um, just go to the, the page. So like click on, tap on, you know, OSW Guild, the little icon under this video. It'll take you to the homepage for my, my page. And then just at the top, go to community. And then, yeah, you'll find the, the link there. Or not the link, the poll for you to vote. On. And I, in the meantime, so once I finish this, I am going to take a small Terraria break. So it'll be <clears throat> upwards of like maybe five days, maybe a little less than that. I don't know. It, it'll be a little break where I'm not having to do Terraria, just kind of refresh myself. Um, also, there's a lot of prep that goes into doing a new series <laughs> where I have to go and play the mod a bit and kind of figure out what I want to do with it or what's fun. Because if I go in completely blind a lot of the time, it's not great. So we want to have some knowledge. Um, that way we're not waffling around for like 20 episodes trying to figure out the mod. Um, but I am also going to do that one mod that I mentioned, the demo of it, um, which is going to, it's probably going to be one video. It's not going to be long, but it's just to show off like the future of modded Terraria because it's really cool <laughs> and it's like a whole different game. Uh, so I'm excited to do that. So keep an eye out on that. Ooh, got a devil's knife. I think that's a alchemist NPC thing. I'm going to keep farming this out. I've got 22. Oh, maybe I'll do a few more. I have no idea what this is from, but it's really cool looking. <laughs> maybe it is a, 
a calamity thing? I don't know. It looks cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, let's go ahead and open all these up. There is indeed a lot of these. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just sell all of this as well. Get myself that huge money. Look, I'm already up to 40 platinum. Gotta love it. Uh, we're up to 70 plat platinum. I could get an extra three platinum, but I'm going to hold on to this devil's knife thing. I think it's kind of cool. I might use it on like one of my own little placers of uh, playing summoner calamity. Uh, yeah, 70, 70 platinum. Pretty good. Let's go ahead and dump that in there. I need to go stock up on all sorts of potions and whatnot. So that's another thing I need to do. Ah, uh, we got all sorts of buffs now. I bought like 20 of each thing. That should last us a while. All right, back to, oh no, I didn't want to fight Plantera. No, <laughs> that was the wrong summon. Die Plantera. I forgot. Also, if you've never seen Plantera in Rage, well, now you have. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of funny. I was not not expecting that. Let's okay. Goodness, Plantera. Goodness, you're in the wrong spot. Nobody wants you. All right, back to. Oh, that's right. I need to switch these around. Uh, that'll be good. This has been my best attempt so far. Actually, I just finally got to the first part of second phase. It was the first time doing that. So I'm pretty happy about that. Can we move this over here, though? Really don't want that tornado anywhere where I'm going to run into it consistently. Using the mount has actually really helped quite a lot to dodge. So we're attempting that. I've got eight seconds on the heal. I'm going to go back focus mode because that's working for me. Oh no, that was going so well. That was my first attempt since doing Plantera uh, farming that I did that and I almost got to the end and I messed it up at the end. I did, I got, got I got panic, you know, the adrenaline started rolling. You start having those thoughts of, wait a second, am I, am I gonna do it this time? Is that, am I actually gonna kill it this time? And then because of that, you get nervous and because you get nervous and you screw it up. Lesson learned, kids. Don't screw it up. Oh my goodness, that was so close as well. I got out of the loop of what I was doing. Like, I'll try to I'll try to show you on this attempt um, the the movement that I've decided to do because it works really well. But he he teleported in a weird way towards the end, and it threw me off the loop that I had, and that just wasn't working. Um, all right, so here we go. It sucks that I just got hit by something, but we're, we'll go ahead and summon here. Because about right in the middle there is kind of where I like it. It gives me space on either side to use my mount. But this is what I'm doing. I'm just, well, that's not what I'm doing. <laughs> this is actually a bad start. Um, but I'm utilizing the mount to get away from them. And then because I have the mount as speed to get away, then it gets me into this loop of, of evasion. That's what I'm going to call it. Where we're doing this. We're literally just doing a circle. And we keep doing a circle over and over and just staying away. Like for this, we just get as far away from the fire as possible, which was a tip that someone did give me. So I want to give credit to them. Um, don't remember who it was though. And we're just going to do this over and over. And I can hit with my um, my spear with this because it, it has a straight fire line. So as long as I'm... Um, hitting right where I want to and I bait I bait those out to be where I can actually get away in my circle without running into them Although that's what killed me on the last attempt is he, he didn't let me do that <laughs> He put it right in a weird spot and because of that That's what threw me off. So yeah, we're just gonna do this over and over I can utilize the mount to kind of be weird with those if I need to um, Let's go ahead and heal. Anyways, I'm just gonna keep doing this Unfortunately, on this attempt, when he goes into the second phase, he kind of resets the arena a bit. 
and it's reset it in a weird spot where it's not quite working the same way that it was before. That sucks. We're so close. <sighs> the heart's pounding. We I just needed to get through that rage phase. If I could if I could have used rage there to hit once or twice, I think it would have done it. Oh my goodness. We're so close to the beating this boss. Oh, he did like a weird thing where he teleports all funky again. I can't figure out when he does that or why he does it. I know in the last phase he does like a bombing run where he flies from one side of the arena to the other. That's not what's getting me, so <laughs> before I get feedback on that, that's not what's getting me. It's He does this like weird little jump thing every now and again at the end and it throws off my loop and it's not working for me. I've gone back to the old faithful. I've got the dumbbell again. <laughs> it's just too much fun to use. It does so much damage. It's really, really good. Like, you just, I don't know, that one wasn't a fully powered one, but you just chunk off like most of his health um, in a single hit. So I like it. It's a little harder to use, not gonna lie, but I'm getting through the fight faster. And the faster we get through this fight, the less chance we have to get hit by stuff and die. So something I've noticed with this weapon is it is incredibly good, but, and there's a big but here, Yaron has damage protection, which means that when it hits a certain percentage of health that you're doing to him, he goes immune. Um, and he has these phases fairly frequently within the fight where you're just not able to damage him at all. But the thing is, you know, when you do hit him, it hits for quite a bit like that right there, as you saw. But you, yeah, it, it, like watch. Okay, so, ah, uh, dang it. I was gonna do the uh, adrenaline there. I did it with adrenaline to go into phase two and it nailed it. It was awesome. It did a bunch of damage, but it only did about half the damage it was supposed to just because of the way that the fight works, which is unfortunate because I think that we'd be able to absolutely crush this fight if it weren't for that damage protection. Cause I would just use that and do the same thing I did with DOG, which is you kind of wait for the the adrenaline um, rage combo and you just like slash off half of his health. Now that's a riskier play because you have to get adrenaline, which means you have to not get hit. But man, it, it sucks that you can't do that on this fight because I think it would be pretty good. All right, I've gotten to the point where I'm not doing any better. In fact, I'm like petering out right at the first of the, the first part of the second phase. So I need a break, but I've been doing this for an hour and a half. So it's one of those. Look, I made a lot of progress today on this boss. I'm feeling pretty good about that. Um, I just got to come back stronger tomorrow and I'm looking forward to it. Unlike when I was doing Poltergeist, I was like, well, I don't like this. This is not, <laughs> this is not a fun fight. Um, oh, by the way, I had a, like a king slime randomly spawn in the middle of that. So yeah, I'm 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 feeling a little bit better about the uh, progress of this fight. I think I'm going to be way better at it than I was on Mage. Um, I just need to come back with a fresh mind and kill the boss.